In this video, we are overclocking the AMD Ryzen 9 7950X 3D processor all the way up to 5.9 GHz in 5 minutes or less using the Asus ROG Crosshair X670E Extreme motherboard and EK Quantum Custom Loop water cooling. I'll speed run you through the BIOS settings and provide some notes and tips along the way. Please note that this is for entertainment purposes only and not the whole picture. Please don't outright copy these settings and apply them to your system. If you want to learn how to overclock this kind of a system, have a look at the longer Scatterbencher video that's already up on my channel. All right, let's do this. When you've entered the BIOS, enter the Extreme Tweaker menu. Set AI Overclock Tuner to Expo 1. That will make the memory run at our Expo rated frequency of DDR5 6400 and associated timings. Expo 1 will load only the primary timings and have the motherboard tune the secondary timings. Set memory frequency to DDR5-6000. While our memory kit is rated at DDR5-6400, unfortunately our CPU isn't able to run that frequency. By enabling Expo we still benefit from the improved memory timings. Enter the Precision Boost Overdrive submenu. Here's where we will do most of the performance tuning as PBO provides us with the tools to increase the power, current and frequency headroom of the Precision Boost 2 Boost algorithm. Set Precision Boost Overdrive to Enabled. This adjusts the PBO platform parameters PPT, TDC and EDC according to the motherboard auto rules. On this motherboard we find that the following values have changed. Increasing the platform boost parameters typically have the most significant effect with multi-threaded processors. For Ryzen 7000, however, AMD's default platform parameters are relatively unconstraining. So even with the 16-core 7950X3D, we don't hit the platform limits at stock values. Ultimately, we don't expect much performance improvement from enabling PBO. Note that the most constraining limit, the VID limit, cannot be changed with the Precision Boost Overdrive 2 toolkit. So we cannot run the 3D Vcache CCD at a voltage higher than 1.2 volt. Set CPU Boost Clock Override to Enabled Positive. Set Max CPU Boost Clock Override to 150. This increases the CPU's frequency ceiling by 150 MHz over the programmed Max 1T limit. On this Ryzen 9 7950X3D, that's 5750 MHz. Note that the 3D Vcache CCD has a lower Fmax of 5250 MHz and that the CPU Boost Clock Override does not affect this CCD. So, the Fmax for CCD0 remains at 5250 MHz, while the new Fmax for CCD1 is 5900 MHz. Enter the Curve Optimizer submenu and set Curve Optimizer to Per Core. Here's where the real magic happens as Curve Optimizer allows us to fine tune the VF curve for each core in a positive or negative direction. Each step represents around 5 millivolt. Setting a negative offset means the CPU will use less voltage for a given frequency and boost to a higher frequency at a specific voltage. Setting a positive offset means the CPU will use more voltage for a given frequency and boost to a lower frequency at a particular voltage. It's the former we need in our overclock. Note that the curve optimizer settings are highly CPU specific, so you should find the best values for your CPU rather than copying mine. For every core, set curve optimizer sign to negative. For cores 0, 5, 9 and 12, set curve optimizer magnitude to 30. For cores 1, 3, 8, 10 and 11, set curve optimizer magnitude to 20. For core 2, set curve optimizer magnitude to 15. For cores 4, 14 and 15, set curve optimizer magnitude to 35. For core 6, set curve optimizer magnitude to 40. For cores 7 and 13, set curve optimizer magnitude to 35. Then save and exit the BIOS. To ensure everything is working as intended, we rerun some benchmarks and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. Higher is better and all of our benchmark scores are higher. We see a maximum performance increase of plus 10.64% in AI benchmark. The highest core clock reported in the operating system is 5.9 GHz. When running Prime95 small FFTs with AVX disabled, the average CPU effective clock is 4732 MHz with 0.945 volts. 
The average CPU temperature is 82.5 degrees Celsius. The ambient and water temperature is 23.7 and 31.9 degrees Celsius. And the average CPU package power is 150 watts. And that's it. I thank you for watching and the patrons for the support and see you next time.